I have written a mod in which I increase the durability of all of the items in the game that you can wear on yourself, like hats, armor pieces, mostly those, by about 10x. Because whenever I was fighting parts in the real world on the hardest difficulty, I was having issues where I had to literally repair my stuff every two fights and that is really annoying because i don't want to use any parts to play through the game the only way i'm going to use parts is for my base and i made it so that all of the parts in the world are aggressive so on site they will charge and attack us and my goal is to defeat the i don't know donald duck Paul, the blue one. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to make it so that the pals actually also attack my buildings because that would create a real survival game, in my opinion. But maybe we can do that in the future to up the chances. And so in order to do that, we need to create a new world. We call it Pal Souls. I set most of the things to one, but the most important thing here is the damage from player multiplier. I set this to two in the end, and then the damage to player multiplier, I set that to four. Yeah, and the rest of the settings you can see right here. I also set the instant eggs, which I don't really think it's nice to wait 15 hours for an egg. So I set that to zero. Let's go. We need to make a giga chat because this guy is a Dark Souls enjoyer. So he's going to have muscles and he needs to look cool. Okay, that's us. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so the first course of action is to find a spot for the base that is not going to be obliterated by or raided by the big pile. And now the intro is actually correct when this guy talks to us. This island is a living hell. People came here which aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. Be careful out there. Because now all of the pals actually attack us. Uh oh. Do I have a part? I don't have a part sphere. Uh oh. Oh, I'm doing good damage. Oh. Oh no! Oh no, there's two! Hey! Stop! Oh my! <laughs> what is this guy doing? Are you stupid? Kill him! Okay, okay. Woo! Okay, I need a pulse sphere and a weapon really fast. We need to find a space or a place where the big guy will not walk. We need to do this because the big guy walks past the base sometimes. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Yeah, this guy. If I get too close to him, <laughs> we have a problem. Uh, and he, he usually goes down there. So I might have to stay here. There's no resources though. We built here. I'm pretty sure... Uh oh I'm pretty sure the big guy is not gonna... Hey! Stop! Hey, stop! <laughs> Bitch! Yeah, we'll build here. Uh, what do we build? This thing. If this stupid guy walks here, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, we need damage first. So we survive. Uh oh, there's another one. Hey, go away! Hey, I'm building! No! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> they built! Okay. Alright. Um. Hey! Ah, no! Ah! I don't even have a pal yet! Listen, man. Just wait, okay? Please. Oh no! <gasps> ah! Fuck. I mean, I, I don't have <laughs> I don't have a bar yet, okay? <laughs> God damn it! Well, I thought I had a good base location because it seemed like it was very far off from the main path of which the big guy was walking on. But it seems like I was wrong in that case because he came awfully close to my base. Can you go away? Why are you coming closer, man? Are you okay? Can you, like, stop going here? Hey! Go away! What's wrong with this guy? How is he walking up here? Like, he, he wouldn't even be able to fit over the bridge, man. He's too fat. Wait, there's another one? And, of course, I was surrounded by these fat guys, which were roaming all around my base. And I was so worried that I would make a mistake and then accidentally in the future, one of those guys would start to attack and whack down all of my buildings in the base. 
Well, I don't even know if they actually attack buildings, but they would definitely destroy all of my pals and even myself, and then maybe even take a camp there. So, essentially, I had to look for a new base, which I found on the plateau right next to me that was completely cut off from any pal that could ever walk there. So it was the perfect and safe base for this game mode. Okay, let's get a pile. I want the kitty cat. We're gonna use the axe to kill him. Otherwise, we do too much damage. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, there's so many down there. Uh-oh. Come here, bitch. What do you want? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh! No! Hey, how fast do you go? Stop! Hey! <laughs> no! Holy shit! <gasps> God damn it! <laughs> I can't catch a single ball, man. I need one ball at least to work in my base. Come on, man. Dude, it's going to get dark soon. And I have nothing. I will die of cold. <gasps> oh. oh, no. No. These f cats, man. I can't even run away! <laughs> Let's try to shh 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 Relax. Do you want to hear me? Okay. We pull one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. No! Okay, new plan. We kill one guy real fast. We need to wait for him to uncharge his attack. How many times? I have no no. No. Okay, I got him. Yeah. Bitch. Please, please. Yes, yes. Oh my god, finally. Okay, we have one part. Can I even get up there? I can't. <gasps> no! Uh oh. Should I just run? After playing for a little bit, I realized that I was literally nowhere safe. The pals would just attack me everywhere I go. And in the beginning, this was especially difficult to overcome because I didn't have any items to defend myself against their attacks. And at the same time, I was pretty terrible at dodge rolling because I've never played the game solo. Be quiet. That means the early game goal was to get my armor piece so I could survive the cold and even roam around the night. About using bows, I don't know if it's cheating or not because bows are ranged weapons. I will try to refrain from them for now. I also wanted to have a spear because it has a very high range, making melee combat a little bit easier and helping me learn. And lastly, I wanted to capture a bunch of pals so I level up fast and then I would spend all of my level points early on, at least into HP, so I survived the longest. And for that, of course, I needed a base so I could generate all of the different resources in the future that I would need for my different equipment. Just give me my items, bro. Give me my spears. Come on. Okay. All right. It's time. Spear has 35 damage. And huge range. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. 
I did 300 damage. I think I'm too strong. This was a little bit surprising. I went from dealing absolutely no damage to almost one-shotting level one parts. However, in retrospect, this is actually fine because I had no weapon beforehand and then I went for a spear, effectively skipping a bunch of weapons. And at the same time, by this point, I was, I think, level five, six, seven, or eight, which puts me a bunch of levels above the Lambert. So I think it was still fine because later on, I was actually still struggling against higher level opponents. I need more, one more pulse for you. <gasps> There's one. Just gotta be careful. Shh. Oh my God. No. No, please. I thought this was a sphere. It's just a fucking fragment. God, this is no cards. Run away. Run away, okay. Run away. Bitch. What do you want? Hmm? Oh, no! <gasps> wow, look at this chest! Copper key? Oh, shit. What are you doing? You're supposed to sneak, you dumbass. Not supposed to slide. <laughs> it's like, zing, yes. What a fucking idiot, man. <gasps> oh, shit. Am I safe here? Five fragments? Dude, you gotta give me fucking spheres, man. We need to get our stuff and then run away. Oh my god! Yeah, so my first adventure didn't really go that well. Ah! God damn it! Because I realized pretty quickly that I needed a lot more items and equipment, aka weapons and armor before I could venture out further into the world. Being almost one shot by everything wasn't very fun at all. And most of the time I couldn't even get back to my stuff because I would die on the way there. So unfortunately I had to go back to my base, take up, gear up and get a bunch of pass spheres so I could level up quickly. Did I really build this the other way around? Okay, so the goal is to get very strong weapons and armor pieces. In order to do that, we need to level up. Now that we have explored the area a little bit, we have a bunch of PAL spheres because capturing PALs is the fastest way to level up. We need to capture 10 of each PAL. So we get the experience boost. Okay, so now we have... Oh, wow. We have 34 PAL spheres. We're gonna go on another hunting spree. If we can, we'll capture all of the PALs needed for the quest. And hopefully get enough experience so we level up multiple times. And while we out, we get all of these. While I was out farming, I used the time to get better at dodging the enemy pile attacks. And I was very surprised because I noticed that it had almost the same learning curve as an Elden Ring. Because whenever I would encounter an enemy monster or boss that I had never done before, it would take me a couple of times until I could learn the attack pattern and then I was able to dodge the attacks more confidently. To have this level of precision and gameplay in PAL world is surprising. Because this is an indie game that is supposed to be focusing on creature collection and not on Elden Ring gameplay. Which is so funny to me. But at the same time, it is so awesome because I was having so much fun. Yeah? Hey, nice. Okay, if we go past this, we're gonna get to higher level parts. Then we can test if we are really overpowered or if the damage is fine. I think this is bullshit. 60%, 70% and I'm not hitting it. Like, come on. Oh no. Yikes. I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. 
Ah, oh, these guys are bad. They can freeze me. I should have gone back. I'm kind of in a problematic situation, I think. It's getting dark and I'm very far. How do they hit me? They're relentless. <laughs> Watch as this bar on the left, on the bottom left, the sun settles. It completely goes dark. I need a torch. I don't see anything. Oh, thank God. Okay, so how do we get up here? Strolling through the night wasn't the best idea. However, I really wanted to finish the quest of capturing 30 parts because I was very close to leveling up. Nice, we got the 30 parts. And then uh, now soon we can challenge the boss. Don't know about that. Oh, shit. Of course. Rush roar. Pretty sure... <gasps> <laughs> you rushed off the cliff. Okay, I mean... Too bad. <laughs> Reincarnated guy, level 50? Who is this guy? Friendly? Or foe? Don't look at me like that. You're trying to say I've done something wrong. I'm not an officer anymore. When I was sure I was dead, I prayed for a slice of pizza. Now I can make pizza appear in my hand whenever I want. Oh my god, he gives me pizza. Wait. No! I'm oh, sorry! Wrong click! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that! No, please! Oh no! I meant to press F! This stupid fucking game, man! Sorry! <gasps> what is this? Oh my god! How do I. How, how do I. How do I. <gasps> how do I get away? Maybe I go in here. I go, go in here. Yes! <gasps> that doesn't sound too... Ah! Ah! I, I gotta log off. I gotta log off. Thank God they didn't kill me, man. All right, where am I now? There's no teleporter inside. I'm completely lost. Diron Hole. Howl. There's two of them, though. One is level 10. Yeah, I mean, um, why is there always going to be two, man? What is this? It's almost like the game was designed to fight two on two. Oh, no, they both got me, right? But I got you. Ah, he's an idiot! Please! He's an idiot! Oh no! Okay. Level 10. 800 damage? There were trees in the way! What do you mean? How can you like... How, did you see that projectile? Like... Vroom? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That was so dumb! Lol, I've never been here. Oh, two pulse spheres. Oh, shit. This whole area known as Papalgos Island. It's a terrible place where everything is decided by violence. I'm being attacked! I got you. You can't beat me. There's got to be a strategy to every single pal in the game. Okay, where do we need to go? Okay, straight up this line. The level two! How did you hit me? <laughs> Shit, I need to run! No! <laughs> These homing missiles really trigger me! Oh my god! Ah!
my god. Okay. okay, how do I get there? The strategy will be that we run across these rocks to get to a very close area so we can pass over. If we swim, uh, the character will be done for. You have to be careful. I really like the climbing in this game. I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. This is so nice. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead! No! Run! Please! Yeah! <laughs> As I've said before, the most difficult part after dying was actually getting back to your corpse and picking up all your items and equipment. Because while you're doing that, all of the parts on the way to your items will start to chase and attack you and oftentimes their abilities have homing properties which make it very difficult to dodge them. Over here, stranger. I trade in any kind of pile, whether it's stolen or even prohibited types. Take a look. <laughs> What are you buying? <gasps> he sells parts? Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have money. Is that all, stranger? This guy looks shady as hell, man. So once I finally had my stuff, I was ready to prepare for the boss. Or was I? <gasps> what is this? Lol. Why are you moving? Stop moving, you fucking dumbass! Started moving. I wanna attack this guy. He looks so cool. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. It was a mistake, it was a mistake, it was a mistake, I'm sorry. It was a mistake, I'm sorry. God damn it. God. I can't kill him, man. Ah. Uh. Yeah, well, uh, at least I tried, and uh, luckily the stuff was next to my teleporter, so it was an easy pickup. I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> I'm out of there. Well, anyways, in order to beat the very first level 11 boss, I needed to upgrade my items, my base, and my equipment so that I have enough HP, defense, and attack to actually survive his attacks and to deal enough damage. In terms of defense, the idea was that I would pick up the tropical outfit because it makes you resistant against cold, and the first boss is actually going to deal cold damage. However, I later learned that that actually didn't do anything at all. It is just supposed to be a defense against environment and not pile attack damage. Also, typical dumb mistake by me, of course, I forgot the shield, the energy shield that would take up one hit, no matter how strong it is, and just absorb it, even though it only has 100 damage. It's probably a bug, but this item is OP and I didn't pick it up in the very beginning. All right, let's go. Let me one shot this guy. Boom! Hey! No, <laughs> 500. <laughs> Look at this. They're getting smashed. <laughs> Look at this guy rolling down. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny and stupid at the same time, man. We will now go and try to kill the boss. Should be that difficult. We are very powerful. This guy, level 11. Oh! Go away, man! 
You want it. You want to fight, bitch? I don't want to fight. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Attack! Huh? Hey, I'm bugged! This is dumb. No, this is stupid. Uh, no, this was a bug. 100%. That was really stupid. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't attack anymore. My stamina was not regenerating. Bug. You know, I, my stamina was not regenerating. Oh, come on, man. This fucking thing, man! Where do you come from, bro? How do you get up here? following me come on i need my i need my energy shield come on please yeah came to me yeah well yeah i got it is it no it's not it's not that's not vixie it's a lift monk god damn it i thought i had it that's another one Oh, you got me? Oh, I got you. Are you fucking kidding? I hate this shit. Get the fuck off! Stupid! I'm not taking any chances. I'm not dying. I want to go to the boss even though this is at night. Maybe this is the best time to go and kill the boss. Because there will be no other monsters. I guess apart from Depresso. There's the boss. He's sleeping. We can get the jump start on him. Look at this. Die! Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Do you, you're doing nothing? Fine. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. I just jumped. I jumped away. What do you mean? I'm so fucking stupid. Is I think if I run there now. Wait, they are alive during the night? Oh, this is a dumb idea. Oh, no! Yeah. Holy shit, man. What is this? How do they do so much damage? Oh, God. I have the entire fucking body on me. If I run far enough away, I'm good, right? Okay, we just 40 meters. Oh, I fucking knew this was gonna happen. Okay. Okay. 
All right, we, we gotta be careful and smart. Not like this. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <sighs> I think if I manage to get to the boss again without losing much health, it's fucking foxy sparks go. Then I we have a good shot at defeating the boss. If not, then I will try to ambush him again during it. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. You literally almost did my entire health and damage. You're kidding, bro. All right. Um, this is the wrong outfit. We need the Tundra outfit. Oh, he's right down there, so far away. Oh, they ran away. Okay. Now we're talking. Now I just gotta go and sneak up on this guy from behind. Okay, it's time. Boom! Oh shit. Okay, I need to run. He's doing too much damage. Oh my god. Hey! Oh, I can't beat him. He's doing too much damage. I, I, I can't somehow like... Mm. Well, okay. I mean, my dodging was terrible. Let's say that, okay? It's fine. But I still felt like I needed to be a little bit stronger to make the fight a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, now we have unlocked a new defensive tag, the pelt armor. Oh, and we have the knife. When we have the metal spear, we try again. All right. We have all of our stuff. We can't kill the boss yet. But we are getting close to pelt armor. While I was farming my items and my experience, I noticed that gathering took so long and I felt like it wasn't warranted the wait time that would take me away from actually playing the game. So I went ahead and increased the pickup rates from 0.5 to 1.5, effectively tripling my gathering skills. But I felt like that was needed because otherwise it would just take way too long. And don't get me wrong, I like the building aspect, but I don't like like gathering almost no materials this at all. Awesome. Gatherable items multiplier 0. 0.5? I'm setting this to 1.5. Oh, we are getting three times more items now. <laughs> nice. With the new and improved rates, however, the gathering was much more fun and enjoyable. All right, I think I get a lot more defense from this than before. Let's see. 35 defense? So 10 more. And 140 health, which brings us almost to 1,900, 2,000 health. All right, how much is this? 80 damage? I think we already have everything we need. I go to the boss immediately. Oh, God. Um, yeah. I dodged by jumping. Holy moly, I do 200 damage. Wait, I jumped too late, I guess. Man, this is so cool. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no! What the, the move! All right, uh, we gotta move to the boss from a different angle. We sneak up from behind. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? So fucking annoying. Stop running away! He's luring me into the other pack! Go and stop it! Hey! You little fucking bitch! And then when I run away, you fucking hit, you hit me from behind! 
I know that. <laughs> I can't catch a break. break from these stupid fucking monsters all right where's the boss so right here so my idea is that i lure the boss wait this guy's alone he's alone if i sneak up on him i can kill him and capture him and he's a wood guy you fucking dumbass you're stupid, right? Look at him. He's dumb. He can only see me in front. What an idiot. Holy shit! I'm doing so much damage! I'm obliterating this guy! Come on! 60! Yeah! We got this! Nice. Mm hmm. So he's too far down. There's probably many others around him, like this lift monkey. I hate these guys. They piss me off. Because they have range attacks. Come on, bro. Come on. Why don't you come closer? Why don't you come closer? What are you doing? Come back. Come on. Are you stupid? Oh, you can't see me? Bitch. Hmm. Come on, bitch. Huh? What are you running? Boom. Oh, dodged? Didn't think I would do that, huh? Oh, man. I'm so scared. He's gonna hit me and I'm gonna die, right? He needs to come back. Yeah, I need to wait for him to come up here. Little fucking bitch. I dodged. I pressed the control key. A stupid game. Just like an Elden Ring, man. Let's just kill everything here. And then we're safe. By the way, I can make these monsters more crazy. They have a field of vision, which is 90 degrees. So by knowing that, I know that I can walk behind them. And they won't attack me. Because they can only look forward this way. If I give them a 360 degree angle, vision range, they see me all the time. It's like a radius then. I could turn it into a radius. Maybe that is a little bit easier because then I can't sneak up on them. But I think sneaking up on them is like part of the process. Like for example right now, we're gonna sneak up on him. And then we're gonna fuck him in the ass! He's gonna... He's gonna... Bitch! I dodged too! I dodged again! I dodged! Fuck, I didn't dodge. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we gotta just cool, heal, heal. Oh, there was a technical ball. Because I was almost gonna die. And it worked. <laughs> it was my only level two ball. Oh, that, that is great. Oh, mission complete. So yeah, great. I was very happy that I was able to defeat my first boss after the first day of playing. And I would like to know what you guys think about this type of game mode that I managed to do here. I turned every single pile aggressive, made them a little bit more difficult to defeat by giving them more damage and giving myself a little bit more damage as well because I don't have a pile that helps me out. 
out. And then I also forced myself to play melee, while at the same time forbidding myself from using any pulse to help me. Obviously I would have liked to do more stuff with the mods, but I didn't manage to do it yet because I'm quite newbie when it comes to modding. If you like this video however, please give it a like and subscribe for more, because I will definitely play more of this game and defeat most if not all the bosses in a small little series. It would be cool if the patrolling parts would also attack your parts and your buildings. I don't know how I would do that though, so um, we'll see. Uh, if I ever do this, maybe not, because I'm not that good at modding power world unfortunately so my goal still stands i still want to kill this uh the captain boss you know the donald duck boss and then we'll see how far we go from there and yes i have 11 deaths i don't have 10.